Hey, 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 everyone. <laughs> How's everybody feeling today? Well, I hope you are feeling absolutely positively wonderful because today is the day that the Lord has made and we are about to jump into it. Welcome. I am your host. Denny Kay, and you have just entered into another wonderful space for the show, Absolutely Positively, where we just try our best to usher you into this place of positivity and uh, motivation, all of that encouragement. That's what we do here. So if you've been rocking with me, because I know you have been, but if you're new, First, go to Mute Mogul Media and hit that notification bell, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. You know how the sequence goes. Um, But if you're new here, you'll get the notifications every time Absolutely Positively comes on. And this is a forum created especially for you. It is my pleasure week to week to give you content that is going to I am you. And if you don't know what I am is, it is inspire, encourage, and motivate you, your being, to your absolute calling that is on your life and give you that purpose-driven calling that will sail you all the way through to infinity, all right? (laughs) That was a little extra, but you know how I am, a bit extra. Anyway, let's jump into it. I'm so excited, as always, about the quote of the day. (laughs) This quote uh, actually comes uh, from one of my daughters. I saw this and thought it was a good quote, and I said, you know what? How about? So shout out to my daughter, Kaden, for uh, sharing this quote. So, again, if you're new... What we do is we reach into our absolutely positively jar and we uh, will pick out a quote that either I, the K, have has picked out or one of the viewers or in this case, a family member uh, wants to hear on the show and have it fleshed out in hopes that something will be said, something will be done that will inspire you to your greatness because that's what we do at absolutely positively. I don't know which way to point. There we go. Absolutely positively or up. Okay. (laughs) All right. So reaching into the jar with this wonderful quote. Um, It's an anonymous quote, uh, but she saw it on social media and thought it was good and just wanted kind of fleshed out. But I love this one because it speaks to so much uh, about living out your purpose and not letting anybody stop you. But anyway, before we get into that, let's go to the quote. It says, people will throw stones at you. Don't throw them back. Collect them all to build your empire. Woohoo! Let's do it again. People will throw stones at you. Don't throw them back. Collect them all and build an empire. So here's the thing. We've talked about this a little bit in some of the episodes, so you got to go back and check out the episodes to kind of see which which ones I'm talking about. But we have talked about that there will be people in your life that will negatively or bring you negative energy, say negative words, those naysayers, those people that don't believe in your dreams and goals and all of that jazz, right? you will be so excited and you'll be inspired um, and want encouragement. And you'll go to these people and it could be a loved one, it could be a coworker, it could be a church member, it could be family. And you will tell them an idea, a dream, uh, anything. And as soon as you get it out your mouth, as soon as you get it out your mouth, they throw in stones. Now, you won't get physical stones thrown at you now, because if you do, that's another episode of Absolute Positively. But, you know, some people might throw physical stones. <clears throat> I haven't read a couple of stories where people have been cruel in that way. But in this 
I would like to flesh out is really the verbal stones, the cyber bullying stones, the way we do social media, the trolling stones. And that's what I talk about with my daughter. People will try to bring you down because there's an old adage that says sticks and stones might hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's untrue. I mean, it was back in the day because we didn't have social media the way we have it now, but that is true. Words will hurt. And so those stones that people at us make a big difference in kind of popping those idea bubbles, popping those purpose dribbles and will you and have you come right back down. Now you were high, you were high telling them, oh, I have this wonderful idea where I'm going to do a snow cone truck and I'm going to park it in front of Walmart. Yeah, and you know, in the summer, and see that way people, when they come out of Walmart, they're going to have these snow cones and people flop, 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 and you got your plan together, you got it going, and then the first person go, Walmart? You 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 gonna get hot or your ice gonna melt or you no know, nobody's gonna come because they they can buy that in the store and I I mean those types of stones or people will try to block you uh, with that oh no don't do that don't do that do something else you know no don't do snow cones do pickles do no don't do do popcorn that those types of stones where it will derail you of where you're trying to go and so. This quote says, instead of getting deflated by it, instead of dodging them and, oh, and, and letting them hit you and hurt you, it's saying, collect them, bad boys, collect them. Okay, I got you. All right, that one hit me, but that's all right. I'm going to collect them. And then use them to build your foundation. And then before you look up, you got a snow cone truck in front of every Walmart. You got a snow cone truck, and not just in every Walmart in your town, in your city, but you're going state to state with your snow cone uh, truck, okay? Now, don't go out there and say, well, you know what? Denny K said I could give me a snow cone truck at the front of the Walmart. That's just something that came to my mind. But if your dream is that, go for it. Do it. So that's why I love this is because we have to use what we got and what is thrown at us and figure out a way to use it. I mean, it literally is the, when life gives you lemon, make lemonade. Really, this is the same thing. But in this way, it is people because you can bet your bottom dollar. Okay, that shows how old I am, but your bottom dollar, because I don't even know where that comes from, but that's cute. But anyway, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's going to be somebody. And unfortunately, sometimes it is the person that you love the most that's throwing the stone. I mean, and I'm talking about big boulder, ones with the jagged edges, you know. That's why I got this this uh torn <laughs> jacket vest on to show you, hey, people are gonna try to tear at your very being with those stones, but use it to build your empire. You were fearfully and wonderfully made, okay? So what you have and what you have to say and your ideas, they all matter because we were all given them, you know? And sometimes it might look like somebody else's, you know? Somebody might have a, a snow cone truck, but they decide to have theirs at um, the local grocery store. Oh, well, you know, they, they have theirs at, at the local grocery store. I shouldn't do mine at Walmart. Let, let me pause you right there. When you go to a place like Walmart, Target, a grocery store, you go in there and you want some pickles, because we were talking about pickles. You can go in there and you will see a Vlasic. You will see, uh, what's another brand? You know, I can't think, the store brand. You're going to see all kinds of brands. You're going to see the mom and pop brand. You might see about four or five different pickles, okay? You're going to see... Uh, four or five different spices of season and salt. You're going to see four or five or six uh, brands of chips. Chips is probably a better one. You know, you're going you to see a whole variety, rinse and repeat. And then what is funny to me is that the store brand, that Brookshire's, that Walmart, that Target, they have their brand. That's a rinse and repeat of the popular brands. If we're 
talking about chips. They got Lay's, Lay's with the pizza flavor. Then the store brand is going to have that. So that should tell you right there. Don't get distracted by the what else somebody else is doing. If it's something that you believe in, you got a plan worked out, you got it legitimized, meaning you didn't send in your paperwork, you follow that thing through because it could be your voice, it could be your brand, it could be the way you decide to do that special recipe that people will choose. And it don't have to be a lot. It can just be a few at first. And you keep building. But don't allow someone's Stones who don't know you, don't know your journey, don't know who you are and whose you are. Okay, I feel like I'm preaching, but to, okay, stand on that. You don't know, they don't know, but you better know. So take those stones, take those stones and go all the way to the top, baby. And I'm talking about building your empire all the way to the top. So that way, when they walking around wanting a snow cone, they will come into your establishment and be like, well, wait a minute. This was Denny K. She done went from a food truck to she next to the uh, Walmart, or she got a store inside Walmart, or she is working with Sam Walton's family of Walmart. Don't miss me. And my one of my favorite things I love to say, I don't know who started it, but I love it. Don't sleep on me because I will take your stone. And I will build an empire, and I will be the one that the naysayers will still be naysaying about. See, that's that's what you need to understand, because even when you do build your empire, they still going to be naysaying. But guess what? You'll be uh, waving at them from below. Okay? Okay? <laughs> A wonderful, real-life, transparent moment is this show right here this show right here. I started out trying to do something like this years ago, years ago. Okay. Cause I, you see the gray. I, I wasn't gray. I wasn't gray. And I just want to create a platform where I could encourage and inspire and it didn't happen. And I listened to people tell me, Oh, well, you know, you know, I, do you have a lot to say? Or, you know, people don't tune in to stuff like that anymore. Or, or people, you know, I, you know, I, I just don't think, you know, you're going to put yourself out there. You're going to be on camera. They're going to talk about you. And da, da, da. Didn't stop me. I just said, okay, all right. I'm going to find a way. Even if it's just to myself. Even if I uh, send it to my family. And that's what I did. I started sending it to my family. Because I love to talk, but I love to encourage i love to inspire i like to be positive that's just who i am and i started believing that you know what god made me this way so obviously he wants me to do something with it so i'm gonna find a way and i did and i got in church ministries and that worked out great i got in um concentrated the ministries that that spoke to the type or specific person that I wanted to speak to. And then on social media, I just started being transparent. I just started sharing some of my own personal stuff. And then one day I saw something posted with Mute Mo Media. And I said, hey, let me inquire. Let me inquire. It was about something else, actually. Let me inquire about this. I inquired. And the CEO said, well, hey, why don't you submit a, a video? Let us see about you. You know, not talking about a show. Let's just see who you are on tape. And I did that. I said, hey, might as well. And here I am today, slowly but surely building. And then what's even wonderful, most wonderful about this, and I spoke about this, is that regardless of how many views, how many people see this, this helps me and it keeps motivating me. So in essence, this is my stone and I will use this platform and others until I get my empire and I will help mute mogul media continue building their empire. That's how I work. And I love it. Love it. I love it. Saying what people say about us, and it's not, it's not, we ain't throwing them back. 
It ain't bouncing off. Well, actually, it is. It's bouncing off. But then when it falls down to the ground, we picking it up and we collecting them, baby, because we are building our empire. So don't sleep on us. Watch out for us because we coming. So keep throwing those stones. Keep throwing those stones because I'm going to make it. I have a support system. And that's another thing I just want to add before I go, that sometimes in the beginning, you're not going to be at strong. It's going to affect you. Okay. And, you know, you're human and that's okay. I'm not telling you to be the Terminator or a robot because it is going to affect you. But I would love for you to get, so that's your charge for today, is to get you a support team. Get you a uh, inner circle that when this stuff happens to you, you can go and be like, you know what, so and so through this stone and it's making me feel a certain way. Your support team will be like, baby, you keep pushing, you keep soaring. Don't worry about that. They, this, that, 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 and the other. They will encourage you. They will bring the IEM to you, okay, and keep you going. So get you a support circle because they're going to be stone throwers. But take those throne, those stones and share them with your people and let them lift you up as you build your empire. Woo, child, that was it right there. I know I was a little preachy, but I hope that helped you because that hit me in my shana now. Because, baby, let me tell you, I have a lot of stones being thrown and have been thrown, but I'm going to use each of them to build my empire. And I hope you do the same. This has been a wonderful time with you um, on this episode of Absolutely Positively. I'm going to ring it down. I'm going to close it out. <laughs> and I hope that something has been said that wherever you go, whatever you do, wherever you put your hands and your voice and your stones, apply your stones to, that you will do it absolutely positively because Denny K told you to. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you soon, people. Love you. Love you. Love you. And I ain't taking it back. Absolutely. Positively. Take care, y'all.